signature course, Global East Asia. The proposal came out of a course that I had been teaching called East Asian Civilization Modern Era. I decided to revamp it totally and build it around a text called Globalization, a very short introduction by Manfred Steger. He addresses some of the major uh, contexts of globalization. He starts with a chronology of globalization and then he moves into economic dimensions, political, cultural, ecological, and finally ideological dimensions. By organizing our course around this text, it gives uh, students a theoretical framework for thinking about globalization in East Asia. At certain points in the class we'll be talking about the processes and at other points talking about the conditions that arise from those processes. And we're looking to what extent this globality is uh, consistent or patchy uh, in East Asia in particular. This gives students an opportunity to talk about what interests them. They're not just being fed information, but they're really generating the educational value and content. They probably come into the class thinking that globalization means everybody's becoming more like everybody else. It's a kind of homogenization process. What they're going to learn is that, in fact, there's a pushback against that homogenization. Things like McDonald's, for example, ends up having very much a menu tailored to local tastes. And so it presents a kind of challenge to this idea that everybody becomes alike. Rather, it's more a give and take and a hybridization. I've been really uh, fortunate in getting some talented TAs. Two of them have Korean background, two Chinese background. And then with my uh, background in Japan, uh, I feel that we present kind of the whole package. One TA who was working on the bid committee for the um, Beijing Olympics as the uh, chief liaison officer. She shared her experience. And uh, we looked at the Olympics. It struck me as uh, a very interesting activity uh, that we usually associate with sports, but that actually has become a kind of international economic uh, activity. It's an international event, but it's also a forum for emphasizing national identity. One of the things we discussed was how cultural China was brought to the fore in that choreography. They had a lot of Confucius and a lot of imperial China imagery. This was important, uh, I think, uh, in order to direct the focus towards culture and away from some of the political issues. This question in globalization, are we uh, becoming less nationalistic or more la nationalistic? Are we becoming more international? It was really uh, interesting to explore that through this uh, issue of the Olympics because you can see how both things are happening at once. What students are going to take away from the course is a much better sense of what the events they see on the news are signifying and where they're coming from and what they mean uh, because perhaps up till now they've been looking at East Asia sort of in a vacuum and without understanding the links among the nation states within East Asia and I think after taking this course they're going to have a much clearer sense of where these events are coming from and what they're likely to lead to Globalization is not an inevitable process, but it's a process that results from human choices. And so uh, sometimes we're tempted to feel that we're being swept along by this uh, great force called globalization, and we don't have any input. <laughs> and I think what I'd like my students to take away from the course is a sense that uh, they're empowered and are able to make choices. They can take the world in a better direction as a result of some of the information that they gain. The signature course is an opportunity for students to make sense of history as it unfolds in their lifetimes. Mm -hmm.